Hello, and welcome to In the Spotlight, a show about all things in and around opera and a production of Atlanta Opera's Spotlight Media. I am your host, Aaron Teachman, and this is episode two of our sidebar series where we chat with a designer about a past or upcoming production. Today, we have Joanna Schmink taking us through her designs for the second Molly Blank Big Tent series production of Three Penny Carmen, a thoroughly remixed and reimagined version of Bizet's classic that we set in a flamenco bar in Texas. Without further ado, here's Joanna. So our Carmen character is a, a cabaret club singer who's now somehow ended up in this town in Texas and is the top leading act for this variety show bar. Um, and she has two backup girls, which are her, you know, best girls, Mercedes and Fresquita, who also side later. I think they're tr- going to transition into waitresses at some point um, so that we get more of a interspersed as the show goes forward. Uh, the, we also have a phenomenal flamenco dancer who will be performing throughout parts of the show. And in a sense, as a these these as our performers on this stage. And then the bar owned by Lila Spastia. And then Raymond Dotto and Don Cairo characters are our drug smugglers. And then we have Don Jose, who is the good good boy gone bad when he goes with his friend off-duty police officers coming into this establishment and he gets whatever drug passed to him, given to him, purchased to him and um, goes into a psychedelic trip and ends up killing his partner and then goes on the run. And so we see the cop gone bad kind of scenario as part of our bringing down to another level, kind of breaking up that um, social setting and caste setting as well. One lovely young ingenue, Micaela, comes in to talk to Don Jose to try to pull him back to reality, so to speak, going to say, you really don't belong here. You really do need to come home. This is not your world. And finding that, you know, she's unable to persuade him. So we end up with our Escamillo being the rodeo star kind of electric horseman slash uh, rhinestone cowboy as imagery for what prompts us forward to a pretty spectacular look with all of these sequins. I look around and go, oh my gosh, you're not going to lose on stage. I've tried to pick fabrics in the design work that will give us a lot of play with lights. I'm hoping my lighting designer is going to have a wonderful time (laughs) creating a whole lot of different colors. Um, There is a a lot of sequin, there is a lot of uh, iridescence. And to be able to see that dynamic between kind of the flashy, gaudy quality of what this kind of uh, club bar gives with all of its other underlying drug actions. Um, And it's enticing. I think that's the other thing too, is in that sense of, of overall human qualities too. You're... Don Jose is enticed by something, a female <laughs> who's bright and, you know, it's like you can't lose her on stage, you know, so that's enticing. And just seeing her perform. So the performance part of it too, I think is alluring. And I think, um, I think it's uh, the distraction, like looking for a, a distraction, which definitely hits them straight on. <laughs> so it kind of uh, prompts us into a deeper dive in a darker world. That was Joanna Schmink, costume designer for Three Penny Carmen. For more information about the show and all things Atlanta Opera, check out Atlanta Opera's website, including, and possibly especially, Spotlight Media, stream.atlantaopera.org. We'll put all the links in the show notes. Thanks for stopping by. Ciao.